What's up everybody, Craig here. I uh, just want to show you a quick video on how to turn your either Windows 7 or Windows 8 uh, operating system disk uh, from a disk into a bootable USB drive. Uh, Mac's pretty easy. I have a video out for it. Um, this is the uh, clean installation of uh, Mountain Lion. But uh, the reason why you want to do this is that a, a disk damages obviously and uh, could break or something like that. And uh, it's good to have an operating system, a bootable operating system, so you don't have to uh, take it to anybody or boot from recovery. And if you got a damaged hard drive, you can't do. That. So you're going to want to do this. Uh, requirements: uh, We're going to need a, a flat a USB flash drive uh, around eight gigs. If you can find a six gigabyte, okay. But uh, usually these operating systems uh, flirt around the four gigabyte mark. So uh, I would just recommend getting an eight. I pick one up up off of Amazon for six bucks, so they're not expensive. Uh, however, um, I guess we could just get into this. Um, you're gonna need two programs. They're free. Uh, links will be in the description. It'll be this uh, BD Lot DVD ISO Master, and then this WinTO Budic, whatever the hell it's called. I know they're free, and I know they work. So that's all you need to know. Um, so you're gonna insert your disk into the DVD drive, and uh, you're gonna go ahead and open this program right here, um, running as administrator and then you're going to just pretty much just click a source and uh, and a pl pick a place to save it uh, so um, I browse and of course I got the DVD drive which my operating system disks in there and then you're gonna click save as and then save wherever you want we'll go to desktop I guess desktop save okay and um, anyway and then all you do is hit run and this is gonna take like an hour uh, 45 minutes to an hour so just kinda wait let it do its thing and then after that you will be getting this which is a .iso file and that's what we want we want an image file and uh, alright after you get your .iso file um, your image file go ahead and um, open this win2 bootic um, and uh, make sure your flash drive is formatted into FAT32 it'll uh, format into NTFS during the boot uh, mounting process but um, it's just easier to have it uh, formatted to FAT32. It works better. Um, and then you would just quick, click this uh, quick format. And you take your .iso file and you drag it in there. Okay. And then once, it's, uh, once that's done, you just click do it. And it will, again, take about 45 minutes. And after that's done, you will have a bootable flash drive to load your operating system on. Um, so that's all I got. Uh, really pretty easy it's just running this program to turn your disk into an uh, image file and then running this program to put the image file on the flash drive so really really easy I saw a lot of other um, when I was researching this I saw a lot of other videos that were talking about command line prompts and all kinds of crazy crap and this is just simple easy peasy anyway uh, don't be afraid to like subscribe comment if I uh, if I see the comment, I'll get back to it, but uh, if somebody sees something they can answer, go ahead. Uh, that's all I got. Appreciate you guys for your interest. Thanks for watching my video. Later.